I just dropped off Jared at school. He's on crutches, but he's feeling all right. He put a little bit of weight on it, on his foot today. Uh, I weighed myself and actually dropped some more. My weight was now 181.4. So 181.4, I don't really see a difference of course yet, but at least it's a way for me to see some sort of change. And again, it's not really gonna be about the number, it's gonna be about the shape. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna show you my Avo Scramble. So here it is. Turn this on just shy of medium. So we're gonna scoop a big chunk of this into the pot. And we're gonna cut this in half. Nice block. And I call this avo scramble. It's kind of like you're cooking guacamole, but it really is just the avocado and the pepper jack and the coconut oil, and it's awesome. It's like all fat, all good. Again, I'm using fat for energy instead of sugar for energy. You need energy. So I'm gonna eat this now. I think it's a kind of a quiet day today. I'm not feeling my tunes right now. I'm just enjoying a quiet morning. are the very famous Buddha lights. They're always red somehow for me. Um, but that's okay. They're usually telling me I need to learn a lesson. Probably not to drive. Well, we won't go there. It's just beautiful out here. It's a different kind of beauty than the East Coast. Different kind of landscape. I wonder if the hot air balloons will be out today. Usually they're not out if there are any clouds, but I would think, hey, if you're up there wanting to get a good look at things, the clouds are some of the most dramatic things in the sky. Yeah, I don't see anything at the moment. A lot of cars, though. There's something you don't see every day. Well, I do. It was not bad last night editing. I got done around 10.30, I think versus midnight for episode one. So, it's getting better. So my friend Terry nominated me for the 22 push-ups a day challenge on Facebook. Um, and I need the exercise anyway. That's gonna be part of what I do. I know I've just talked about eating so far, but uh, I gotta get some work in. So, Terry, this is for you. I'm not sure who I'm going to nominate next, but you will see it in the comments. So that felt good. It was good to exercise. I think tomorrow, if it's nice, maybe I'll go for a blade. I haven't gone for a blade in a while. So we'll see tomorrow though, won't we? Let's get through today. I did my exercise. I'm walking. Andy is still sick, so he's not walking with me. Maybe he'll walk tomorrow or this afternoon if I can get, he's at work at least. We're meeting downstairs. Hey, 
Hey, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm not camera ready right now. <laughs> this is my I'm sick dating. friend, Andy. Well, he's Andy. Yeah. He's, he's sick in many ways, but, yeah. you know. Anyway, we're going to go have some More today good other lunch. Well, that was good. It's 2.15, and I actually just got back from lunch, but I'm leaving work, which is good. I got to go pick up Jared because he's on crutches. He can't ride his bike home. I got to have lunch with two friends today, Andy and Nair. And we, well, two out of three of us ate well, and I was one of the people that ate well. Today I had the chef salad. Nair had that sirloin salad from episode one. She liked it, so fate you owe me. And then Andy had the turkey club. It was really good. I had some pecans uh, and water, and that's it. Let's go home, it's Friday. Hell no. I couldn't agree with you more, car. Hell no. Have you said hell no today? Everyone should say hell no. Good job. Oh, hell no! Damn it. So yeah, it's this habit of mine to like hunt for food when I get home, even if I'm not hungry. There's that no pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Uh, yeah, oh, look at that. Got some, some treats. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Oh, and then the dreaded pantry. So, this is the kind of stuff I was talking about. All these cereals and every kind of yummy you can think of. All this crap, 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 crap. So, yeah, I'm kind of in trouble if I go into this room. Uh, so, let me get out of this room. And got a box of wine. Here are my eggs that I got. You know what? This is called boredom eating. Boredom eating. It's kind of the opposite of stress eating, where you have nothing better to do, so you just want to fill your mouth with stuff, and it's not good. So stress eating on the one hand, boredom eating on the other hand, don't fall for it because they're both bad. Uh, I know a lot of people, we were just having a conversation at lunch, in fact, about the boredom eating habit, and it's, it's, it's a no-no. So, no, 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 no. Well, that was an awesome day. I like those short days. Except I'm gonna get a sunburn out here. I better set up the umbrella. That's much better. It was a great day today. I had the avo scramble for breakfast. I had some mixed nuts and some pecans. Had one of these in the morning. Uh, I got my water. I was getting a little bit hungry because I had to wait a little while because of my friends for, for lunch. Uh, but then we all went to Fate and it was so good to hang out with friends. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Today was not as bad as yesterday was by at all. I, I'm looking forward to the next couple of days. So I'm gonna be home now for the next two days straight because it's uh, the weekend coming up. Oh, I have to go trick or treat shopping. Kit Kats. Kit Kats are my downfall. That's a weakness of mine. I have many, but Kit Kats are bad. Don't tempt me, please. And that's it. The hardest thing I've found is waiting till the end of the day to film the last part to tell you what I ate for dinner because it's like at the end of the day and I'm very tired. But I love you guys and I will do it just for you. Well, for me, because I have to keep myself honest and you guys keep me honest too. So I went and had Thai food tonight. This, this is the place that I went. 
I had this really nice uh, chicken coconut milk soup thing. And I had an entree of basically kind of like beef and broccoli. They're really good. I didn't touch my rice. For the most part, I think I pretty much stayed on track. So good night. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow.